What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we had an eventful one. I mean, we went all all through the, the, the World Islands, you know, the surroundings of the World Islands, and we managed to evolve three Pokemon. One of them, went, which, you know, we've been trying for a very, very long time. Those three Pokemon, Teddy. Let's go ahead and show them. Look at that, Teddy. Turned into an Ursaring, pretty powerful Pokemon. Then we got Kid Thunder, evolved into Electabuzz, and our good old buddy, not this guy, this guy, Relic, finally evolved into an Espeon, and yeah, like I said last episode, yeah, level 36, uh, Psybeam, that would have been nice for this one right here, kind of screwed the pooch right here, anywho, we're in, uh, what, what is it, Sinewood City, yes, we are in Sinewood City, and, you know, off screen, I actually did have to buy a few equipment, you know, potions and all that stuff because there is no Pokemon around here except for this right here. Talk to this guy. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm in shock. A guy with the, about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prize Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? Heck yes. Yeah, uh, our party is full. I completely forgot about that. But what I meant to say was that, yes, there's no Pokemon here, but there is the pharmacy right here. You talk to this individual. He's like, your Pokemon appear to be fine. Is something wor uh, worrying you? The Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble? I got it. This ought to do the trick. And we got ourselves the Secret Potion. Yes. My Secret Potion is a tad too strong. I can only operate, or I only operate on in an emergency. So that's basically it right there. The medicine that we need to get. Um, let's see. We need to get that Pokemon. Yeah, we really need to get that Pokemon. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to deposit one Pokemon. And it's going to, it's probably going to be a big risk. But we're going to deposit our Cinder for right now. Not going to use him. Mm -mm, we're not going to use him in this episode. We're actually gonna, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna go with Outsender right now, but right here we're gonna grab this guy. He's like, you're in shock, yes, yes, guy piercing eyes, yes, 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 he scared you into giving your prize Pokemon, yada, 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 please give me your Pokemon. Please. And, oh, thank you, take care of him, please! We got ourselves a Pokemon. And, uh, let's see, oh, thank you. Take good care of him, please, let's see, let's see what Pokemon did we get. Oh, a Shucky. Let's go ahead and take a look. So as you can see, we got ourselves Shuckle, or Shucky the Shuckle, both Bug and Rock-type Pokemon. Not much to look at because, you know, it's Shucky, but here's the thing, look at its defense. Both physical and special defense is through the roof, one of the best ones. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use them on my team. Yeah, I'm not going to use them on my team. In fact, I'm going to get Cinder back. Yeah, we're just not going to use Cinder in this episode. Well, for the gym battle, I guess. I don't know. I am... Yeah, I'm talking out of my you-know-what. So, go back inside. Shucky, thank you. Oh, yeah, and that held item that it's uh, holding. Yes, it's a, it's a berry. It's just a berry. And, yes, off-screen, we did capture a Mantine. Pretty fun. Pokemon took all my Pokeballs. And here we have Cinder. That's right. Cinder, the Pokemon. Okay, so we are in Sinewood City. Did the most important parts here, and Pokemon Traders are macho bullies. If I stick around, they might come after me. Here's a, here's some advice: the gym, the gym leader uses fighting type Pokemon, so you should confound uh, confound them with psychic type Pokemon. Wipe them out before they can even use their physical strength. And those boulders in the middle of the gym. If you don't move them correctly, you won't be able to reach the gym leader. If you get stuck, go outside. Wow, so this must be the guy that only believes in us, I guess. I don't know. So here we are, Sinewood City in all its glory. There's not a lot of stuff that you can do. Lady right here says, Chuck the gym leader spars with his fighting Pokemon. That's pretty cool, I guess. And if you talk to this lady right here, stop moving around, please. You crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would... It would have been much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. But you can't use fly without this city's gym badge. If you beat the gym leader here, come see me. I'll give you something nice. Okay, she'll probably give me something nice. 
And let's see, you go right here. Let's see, talk to this lady. You came from all of mine. Do you remember the four islands along the way? I heard a mythical sea creature is hiding in them. Hmm, you don't say. And I've heard that the whirlpools around the islands are caused by the sea creature. You might need a special move to get past them. You don't say. Talk to her. I heard that you can only see if you have a silver wing. It must have the same scent as the creature. You don't say. I don't know. Okay, they, they must be talking out of there, you know what. And if you came to bed, oh yeah, they're talking about fly a lot. Talking about fly. And if you talk to this guy, boulders to the north of the town can be crushed. They may be hiding something special. Your Pokemon could use Rock Smash to break them, which I do have on my Cinder. And this is something new that they probably added, I guess. This is the Sinewood Photo, photo Studio. Take a snapshot as a keepsake. So if you talk to this guy, you will be able to actually um, take a picture of your Pokemon. Now back in the day, we had the, the Game Boy printer, I think. Yeah, the Game Boy printer. And if you go right here, you can take a pictures of your Pokemon's uh, Pokedex uh, entries, your Pokemon in general. I think in Pokemon Yellow, it started it too. I don't have that... I don't have the, 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 the Pokemon printer, and even if I try to find one right now, it costs a buttload because it is a keepsake, a really big keepsake. So, we're not going to do anything right here, and uh, let's go ahead and go north. Let's break these rocks. Let's break all of them rocks. Look at that. Nothing. Okay, so we break this one. There might be something hiding. I want to find something hiding, and wow, did not know a Pokemon was there. And, uh, yeah, you'll find Krabbies, I guess. I think we already captured a Krabby. I don't know. Um, let's move on. Okay, so grab this one right here. This rocks look big, but, yeah. And we're breaking this one. Nothing. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. Let's go straight to the gym. We gotta, we gotta go to the gym. We gotta start beating people because I'm just annoyed. So here it is, and yeah, that was the guy that only believed in this. Wow, they, wow, they scared him off. Okay, so what do we do here? Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Relic right here because why not? Psychic type Pokemon, not a lot of fighting type moves work on them. Let's do this. Hmm. My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. Five minutes later. Of course, their bond is broken because I destroyed them. So here we have Black Belt Yoshi. Yoshi the Dinosaur. Coming out with his Hitmonlee. And look at that. Look at him flailing that kick. Okay. And here we have Relic. I don't have a Psychic type move. Should have uh, learned that a long time ago. And that was a critical hit. And that was it. Look at that. Easy. Wow. You're weak. This isn't real! It, it believe it or not it is real and wow I'm being harassed by this guy we martial artists fear nothing except psychic type Pokemon and quite possibly needles I don't know we shall see so here we have Lau from Laos and coming out with his Hitmonchan look at that he's just trying to punch all the, all that stuff okay so let's go let's let, let's use let's use Shadow Ball just because you know it's close to a psychic type attack and here's that thunder punch doesn't it oh par wow we got paralyzed again wow it's been a while since we've been paralyzed i'm kind of missing it i really am so here we go headbutt attack and there goes hitmonlee or hitmonchan i should say Alrighty. okay so he's like that's shocking it is it is shocking Alrighty, so let's switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Toxic Batman because, you know what? It's the only Pokemon in my team that is not at level 30. Yeah, you know, that'd be fun. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. Okay. Let's do this. Bring it on, Cabroni. So here we go, Nob. Coming out with his Machop. Alrighty. Let's do this. Batman. Here we go. Let's throw. Let's go with the swift attack. Don't really have the moves necessary to beat this guy, but you know I can do something. 
swift attack was a critical hit there's that karate chop doesn't do much because yes toxic batman is a flying type pokemon as well and there we go machop defeated oh look at that and uh he's gonna come out with macho so this one's gonna be interesting right here look at him flex his pecs and everything let's go with the leech life the only reason I pressed Leech Life is because I pressed it a little too quick. And, well, let's see what this guy, oh, jeez. That is not good. That is not good. I did not expect that. So, we have to, we really have to work hard here now. So, here he goes. Confused. Just confused. And, come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Oh, no. Why? Why? Okay, so that's that's bad. That is really bad. One more hit, and he could beat us. He could beat us badly. And that doesn't do anything, so... Wow. I really, I really shot myself in the foot with this one. Okay, so... Doxy Batman is no more. Okay, let's go... To lucky. Alrighty. You know what to do. Surf attack. Alrighty. Surf attack does well, and well, there's a, the experience points that you know should have earned. Okay, so he's silent. Wow. Don't can't say shit. I lost. I'm speechless. That's good. That's good. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna step outside because I need to heal that. I need to heal my Toxic Batman. I need, I desperately need him for this one, this one battle right here. So let's heal our Pokemon right now. It's been a while since we've seen a, uh, ourselves heal Pokemon, right? Always let them off screen. Yeah, always off screen. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here and go back inside the gym. Alrighty, wrong way. Why did I do that? I don't know. Alright. Not that way. Why Why are you drunk? Draven, why are you drunk? Why are you so drunk? Okay, so, beat you, beat you, beat you. And this is the bowlers that the, the nice guys was talking about, but luckily, we do have a Pokemon that knows uh, strength. So let's move these around. So follow the way I'm doing them. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Easy. Okay, so, let's get some redemption with Toxic Batman. Alright, let's go. My Raging Fists will shatter your Pokemon. Is that so? Eh, we'll see. Okay, so here we have another Black Belt. His name is Lung. He's trying to punch the lungs out of me. And here he comes out with a Mankey. Alright, Mankey. Let's see what you can do. Toxic Batman. Going with that Swift. And it nearly beats him right there, and, well, that Karate Chop won't do much, but it'll do something. Let's finish him off one more time with the, with the Swift. There we go. Nearly, well, nearly takes care of him. And he's coming out with another, another, ma uh, another Mankey, so I'm going to stick by right here. Alrighty. Let's go with that Swift attack. Hell yeah. Really, really wish that I, I have that fly attack or a flying type move. And look at that, level 29. Oh, come on. So here comes out with a primate. I'm going to stick by right here. I have to stick by because, you know, I need more experience points for Toxic Batman. Maybe I'll learn a new move or something. I don't know. So let's confuse him. See what you can do under confusion. Can you stop me? Will you stop me? I don't know. And... It's using Rage. So that could be bad for us. So what we're going to do is not hit him. Hmm. Nah, you know what? We're going we're gonna to have to hit him either, either way. So here we go. Swift attack. And it does take a good amount. And come on. Confusion. Come on, hurt him. Yes. I'm loving it. Yes, McDonald's, I'm loving it. Another swift attack. How do you feel about that? All right, okay. All right, I'm liking as long as like I got shattered. Yes, you did. Mother grabber. Okay, so he's like my Pokemon lost my pride. 
It's shattered. Okay, Vegeta, whatever you say. Alrighty, so... It's time. It's finally time to go up against this guy right here, so... What are we gonna do? Let's see, let's see. What do I have to do right here? Okay, I don't have to heal my Pokemon just yet, but... Might as well. So, here we go. Wah! So, you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. Ugh. Ugh. There. Scared now? Or scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Ah, bring it on, Tubby. Let's do this. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Another battle. Gym leader battle. Uh, gym leader Chuck. And this guy right here is coming out with his Prime Ape. Oh, he's looking a little scary right now. Alrighty. So let's go with Darks of Batman right here. So, going into our next screen. As you can see, Gym Leader Chuck, Fighting Type Gym Leader, doesn't really take a lot to defeat his Fighting Type Pokemon. You need Flying Type Pokemon or, you know, that occasional Psychic Type Pokemon with a Psychic Type move. You know, like I failed to do. So as you can see, it has two Pokemon right here, one a Primeape and another one Poliwrath. Primeape is a pure fighting type Pokemon, it has Leer, Rage, Karate Chop, and Fury Swipes. Doesn't really do much when it comes to, you know, actually battling them. Now, the biggest threat right here is your is his Poliwrath. It's both water and fighting. So it knows it, it knows pretty much a lot. Especially since it can learn it, it does know a psychic type move called hypnosis. Does have surf. Watch out for that dy dynamic punch, it could confuse you, and don't forget about that mind reader, which will enable him to actually use that dynamic punch a lot better. So, going back to the screen right here, let's go and confuse the heck out of this guy. Yeah. You don't like that confusion, huh? Don't like it? Come on, hurt yourself. Please hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. And no, he's using that Fury Swipes. I do not like that. Why? I do not like that. Come on. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so three times doesn't really take that much, but here we go with the swift attack. Let's go, Toxic Batman. You can do this. No. Come on. Hurt yourself. Please hurt yourself. There we go. And we're going to finish him off. Come on, we got to finish him off with a swift. Nearly finishes him off with a swift, and uh, this guy right here still hurt. Well, doesn't really hurt us. Let's be, let's be petty right here. Use that leech life. And there we go. It's not very effective, but you know what? It beats him. I just like to be petty like that. So, we defeat him. A lot of experience points for Toxic Batman. And here he comes out with his Polyrath. I got, I got just the perfect Pokemon for that. Kid Thunder. Alrighty. Let's go. Bring it. Get over here. So look at that. He looks like a, a buff Pokemon ready to flip us off. Luckily, I got Thunder Punch, and I'm faster than him, so look at that. Bye bye Finish him off. Oh, come on. And there's that Hypnosis. It doesn't affect us, so we got to finish him off quickly right here. Thunder Punch for the win. Eat that, Polyrath. Eat it, Chuck. Eat it. And that's a lot of experience points right there, so as you can see... What? Huh? I lost? How about that? You're worthy of the Storm Badge. That's right. We earned a lot of moolah for that one, and, uh... Well, he's like, here's a Storm Badge. You got the Storm Badge. It's fine. Makes all the Pokemon up to level 70 poke, uh, level 70 obey, even the traded ones. And you can also use Fly outside of battle now, which is pretty cool, because we need that move desperately. And here we have the TM01, which is the Dynamic Punch move that we were talking about. And he's like, that's Dynamic Punch? It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. It's pretty cool, huh? Wow! I enjoyed battling with you, but a loss is a loss. From now on, I am going to train 24 hours a day. Wow. Bro, your wife is worried about you. She even called... Well, just wait, just wait. She's going to call you a tubby. going to call you chubby. I don't know. So, after defeating Chuck, come in and talk to the guy or the chick right here, and she's like, you've crossed the sea to get it here. That must have been hard. It would have been much easier if you, if your Pokemon knew how to fly. That's the sign with Gym Badge. Then you should take this HM. The HM02. Heck yes. Alrighty. Teach fly to your Pokemon. 
and you will be able to fly instantaneously to anywhere you have visited. That's right, my husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, since he's getting a little chubby. Told you, I freaking told you. Hold on. I freaking told you you got chubby. Now I'm running away because they, they might try and, you know, destroy me and stuff. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, well, Yeah, we got five badges and all. Not that one. We got five badges, guys. Look at that. Already with the five badges. About to get our sixth. Alrighty. Um... You know what? Yeah, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, it's going to be an interesting one because, uh, yeah, we will be facing Jasmine of the Olivine City Gym. See you guys.